Are you curious about magnetic eyelashes and how to apply them? Well, if that's the case, then you are in the right place because in today's video, I am doing a magnetic eyelashes tutorial with the Eyelure Lashes. If this interests you and you wanna see if these work or not, cause I have no clue, haven't even opened the box, then go ahead and stick around for my video. It's coming your way right now. Well, hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. If you've been here for a bit, if you are new, I am super glad that you're here today. My name is Lauren, and my channel is all about making beauty easy for the girl who thinks that she can't. My hope today is that you will consider subscribing and hit that notification bell. I don't know why I said that in such a high-pitched voice, but there it is. And that way you can get alerts every single time I upload new videos, which is every single Friday, every third Thursday, and every fourth Tuesday of the month. Well, today's topic is all about magnetic eyelashes. So if you're super amped about it, then go ahead and give this video a giant thumbs up because it seriously helps me out so much. And with that said, it's no secret that I am not a fan of false lashes. I think I say this in every makeup tutorial, but it's so rare that I put them on. And it's not because I'm not a fan of how they look. It's I'm not a fan of dealing with putting them on and so my hope is that these actually are a lot easier and I saw magnetic lashes come out I think early 2018 I guess is like a new thing to be honest with you I rolled my eyes every time I saw them I was like that's got to be a pain in the butt gluing is probably 50 times more easier but I never tried them so I think Ardell is a really popular brand that people are trying, but I found these at Target. They were $14.99 at Target. I don't know if they're any cheaper on Amazon. I'll look. If that's the case, then I'll go ahead and link them below for you. There's a couple of different versions, and I actually got the ones that were the corner lashes, as you can see here. Hopefully you're not getting too much glare. The reason I got the corner lashes is the other reason I hate, I said the reason like six times, but whatever. I am not a fan of false lashes because typically my eyes are so like small. My, my own lash bands are small that I have to cut and trim. They don't look that great. I have hooded eyes, so I have to be careful how big the lashes are. Otherwise it looks crazy. So that's why I don't do it a whole lot. So I saw these and I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll give these a whirl and maybe I'll even do it on YouTube not open the box, but actually do it with you guys in real time and see how these work. So that's what we're gonna do. My other thought was this before I open the box is there's like a, there's an upper and a lower. I think what I could do here is take the lower and use those for upper. I never put on lower lashes. If you do that and you like doing that, can you tell me why you like to do that in the comments and just what it does for your eyes? I just feel like my lashes, my lower lashes, they're first of all really long on their own. Secondly, they're not like super full, but I don't really think they need anything extra. So that's just my thought. I was just gonna take these and keep them and see if I could actually use them for the outer corner. So let's actually tear open this box and see how this goes. I literally get one shot, right? Because I can't reopen it and refilm it. So here we go. Okay, I'm gonna open it up. It says it's quick and easy. It says click them on and flip them, flick them off. So I kind of like that. The whole gluing thing just does not, ugh. So many times I've done my makeup before with false lashes and then I start to do them and it starts turning out terrible and it ruins a beautiful makeup look and I'm not about that life anymore. So there's directions. Let's see. Oh, that's really small. That's not the language that I speak. English. Where is we at? Okay. We recommend you use a slick of your eyelash false blender or mascara before. Oh, okay, yeah. So obviously I already have makeup on, no big deal. Hmm, pretty, it seems pretty simple. Oh, wait, hold on. Ah, so maybe it isn't an upper lower thing. Hold on, you guys. Oh wait, this is really fancy. So it says you can get, I think up to 15 uses out of these. Yeah, up to 15 wears. Now, <clears throat> I don't know about y'all, but I wear contacts and I'm only supposed to get two weeks out of those, but I for sure get a month. So that's exactly what I would do with these is just try and get as many uses as I could before they started looking real bad, if I do like this. So it's really nice packaging and I love that you can actually put it in a compact as well. So let's see here. It does have a little magnetic thing. So my question is, gotta look at the directions here. Um, with the applicator, pick up the lower section of the magnetic lash and place it beneath your natural lashes to bring the two magnets together. Oh, okay, so I'm silly. <clears throat> you can't use these <laughs> for two different lashes. This is your, your one that goes above and the one that goes below to give you a full look. Hello, I'm a ding dong, so, but hey, that was like, you know, that was some thrifty thinking, I'll say that much. 
Okay, so let's start with the left eye because I'm usually pretty good with my left eye. It's always my right eye that gives me issues. Put my water down here, put my mirror here, and let me pull my amazingly awesome computer bag off my desk. If you're a Friends fan, you'll love that. Okay, so, okay, so here we go. I'm going to just grab, again, never done this before, so this is either gonna be really awesome or super funny for you guys. That is not gonna work. I'm gonna have to use my finger. Ooh, they're so pretty, I don't wanna mess them up. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's a question. Wait. Oh, that's not supposed to be there. So you wanna pull that little white thing off. It's like the little, I don't know if it's an adhesive or what it is. And then I'm gonna set that one down and get the bottom ready. Because, <laughs> Okay, these are way cool. Okay, so let's set the upper one on first. I don't even know if I would need this thing, honestly. So wait, let me show you this much. Um, can you see the little, oh, come on, there we go. I wanted to focus. The little magnet is right there in the center. So that's your most bulky part of it. So what I will do is get the hair off of my lashes. And then slightly lift down. Oh dear. Oh wow. Okay, so I just need to get it closer, but I can see how that would work. Okay. So obviously that's what it looks like together. So let me pull that apart and try that again. I just didn't have it close enough. So I'm setting it literally on where, basically I have on eyeliner today, right underneath that liner. So the only negative here is that they want to stick together before you even get them on. So maybe that little brush or that little applicator is helpful. So let's try it again, third time's a charm, right? Okay, so that's cool, but the only trouble I feel like I'm having is that lower one. Let's try the right side. The, it looks pretty, but the lower one, you almost need to push back as far as you can on your um, lash line. And the trouble is getting it to do that before the magnets connect. So that's, that's my only complaint so far, but that might just take a little bit of practice. So let's try that. The top one's easy to put on. <laughs> I'm sure that probably once you play with these a couple of times, they're probably not that difficult. And the good news is like, I'm not messing up my makeup to do this. Like that's the thing that kills me about false lashes is that if you start to mess up, you're screwed. Your whole look can just screw, get screwed up. Okay. Okay, that one I did a lot better, except I didn't, I put it on um, not evenly. So, try it one more time. Woo, okay. So my lashes don't feel heavy. I think with a little bit of practice, like again, this is like not a huge deal to work with it because it doesn't do anything. So let me get close in the camera because here's what I need to fix. I can see them, first of all. I don't like seeing that in my vision. It's because they're not close enough. But if I close my eye, they're just not close enough to the actual lash line. So we're gonna try it one more time and see if I can't. So it says you flick them off. Okay. See if I can't get any closer. There's the top one. And this bottom one, I just don't even know with the applicator because I don't see myself, like that already clicked together. So that's why I don't wanna use that. If you guys have tried these and you find that using that applicator is easy, tell me down in the comments what you, how in the world you do that without it connecting wrong to your face. Okay, everyone can see now why I don't like to do false lashes because here we are. 
<laughs> and we spent all this time just trying to figure this out. That's why I don't do it. Yeah, I hate it. I absolutely hate it because the problem is, is that I cannot get these close enough to my lash line. And every moment counts, baby, I don't wanna miss a thing. Oh, I got it. Okay, I got it. Yay, okay, I don't hate it. So you almost have to cover the bottom magnet up until you're ready to do it because it is not, it just wants to, which is great, the magnets are that strong, but it just wants to connect before you even get it in place. So you have to get it in place before. And I think I finally got it. So 17 tries later and I got it. So. They're on. Um, it's pretty cool. I think, honestly, I think if I work with it a little bit, I might be able to get it where I, it'll get a little bit faster. The only thing that's so weird is that I can see, I don't ever like where I can see that lashes like that far out. That just looks really odd to me, but they are really pretty. Um, I think once I figure out how to do them a little smoother because the last thing I would want to do I mean I'm looking at my timer right now and I wouldn't want to be on here for 15 minutes trying to figure this out obviously I'm doing this with you guys for the first time so that's why but it is really pretty if they don't hurt um the the ones that you glue on always feel like they bother me after so long my eyes water they're just I don't know they're really annoying these don't feel like that and they don't feel heavy that was the one thing I was thinking about with it being a magnet like is this gonna feel heavy <clears throat> or not so they don't at all. So question for you down in the comments, if you have used magnetic lashes, tell me what you love about them. Tell me what you hate about them. If you have an easier way to apply them than what I just did for you, can you let me know down below? And if you haven't tried magnetic lashes, I would love to know if seeing this crazy tutorial convinces you that you need them. Okay, real quick, I messed with them a little bit more and it took a little finessing, but I actually got them where I want them and I really do like them. I also had to take off my sweater because it is so freaking hot in here. But anyway, I was able to do that and I think that once you put the top one on, just look really big <laughs> into your mirror and then take your lower lash one and just slowly slide it up toward your eye. And then when you get close, it'll connect itself and then it'll actually be on the very top of the lashes. So that was a little easier and I did that off camera. So I hope that helps you. Just wanted to throw that in. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this, of course. As always, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and do that now so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And of course, connect with me on social media. It is one of my favorite places to get to know you. I have a private Facebook group called Reform Tomboy Beauty that you can either click the link down in the description box or just search it on Facebook. And that is the place where girls like you and me, we get together, we talk about makeup products we love, makeup products we hate. We do Masking Mondays together where I go live and do a little masking with you with whatever I have in my cabinet. Contour and Converse is my monthly show that I do a makeup look with you in real time and we just chit chat and get to know each other and see how things are going in your life and mine. It's just a great way to connect with people just like you and me. So if that interests you, then go ahead and join us so you don't miss out next time. With that said, I think this is gonna be a wrap and I will see you in my next video. Hashtag your farm tomboy family. I'll see you soon.